Good morning. Um, my name is Eduardo Julio. I'm the convener of FIB Task Group 8.1. Uh, Eduardo Cavac, that you can also see in the, in the image, is the secretary of this task group. And uh, we will be the host of this uh, FIB uh, webinar. Uh, I, I'd like to start by thanking FIB for this initiative and also uh, thank uh, all uh, speakers that are also authors of the FIB Bulletin 102. Uh, as well as thank um, the attendees that are here today uh, attending this, this webinar. I, I'm going to say uh, a few words uh, about FIB webinars, then uh, also some words about this webinar, and uh, then uh, Eduard Cavaco will present the speakers and we'll start with the first uh, presentation. So F FIB um, started promoting the FIB bulletins with Bulletin 80. Uh, with this aim, um, a presentation adopting a sort of an interview format with the bulletins editor was adopted. This was repeated for Bulletins 88, 90, 91 and 92. The, the webinar format was only adopted later with Bulletin 96, and it was followed by bulletins 97, 100, and 101. Uh, so today's webinar and the next one that will take place on the 12th of October were organized by our task groups, task group 8.1. Uh, the activity developed by task group 8.1 in the last years aimed at delivering a how-to-do guide on protection, repair, and strengthening techniques for concrete structures. This guide is now published as FIB Bulletin 102, address, addressing both protection and repair methods, and FIB Bulletin 103, addressing strengthening methods. Each one is organized in 12 chapters. Um, this, um, this guide is intended to provide both guidelines and case studies, serving as support to the application of FIB Model Code 2020 pre-normative specifications. For each protection, repair, and strengthening method addressed in this guide, readers have a description of when to adopt it, which materials and systems are required, which techniques are available, and what kind of equipment is needed. It then presents a summary of stakeholder roles and qualifications, design guidelines referring to most relevant codes and references, the intervention procedure, quality control measures, and monitoring and maintenance activities. So in today's webinar, we count with the main authors of each chapter of FIB Bulletin 102 to present these um, protection and repair methods. Before giving the floor to Eduard Kavak, uh, I'd like to draw your attention uh, to that Q&A button that you have below your screen. It's uh, the button you should use to raise questions. Those questions will be uh, on the chat. Um, and uh, after the presentation, uh, Eduard or me will read uh, some of those questions for the presenters to answer live. If we don't have time, and since we have to comply with the schedule, uh, the remaining questions will be sent uh, to, to us, and we will then resend them to the speakers. The speakers will answer those questions, and there will be a final report that will be delivered to all participants, both uh, speakers and attendees. Um, so I think uh, that's it. So now, Eduardo, please. Okay, Eduardo, thank you. Thank you for your words. So, as my colleague Eduardo Julio just said, during the day, we'll have the interventions of the main authors of uh, each chapter of F FIV Bolta 102. 
These are highly qualified experts from uh, different countries and with different prof uh, professional profiles, researchers, designers, and contractors. These different perspectives and approaches were fundamental for the development of the FIV uh, Boltan 102, and for sure we'll turn the following presentations much more interesting and the Q&A session much more fruitful. So let's have a, a short overview uh, over the program. So the morning session will be mostly devoted to the protection methods. Christian Christodoulou will start with the first block of presentations covering the hydrophobic impregnation method. Then we'll have a presentation about coating of concrete surfaces by Maria Paula Rodrigues. Susana Fonseca and George Granolopes will discuss the application of membranes. And after that, we'll make a short pause for a coffee break. The second block starts with the corrosion inhibitor methods for steel bars by Maria João Correia. Xavier Chalopo will speak about cathodic protection, and with this will be the last presentation about protection methods. Koichi Kobayashi will close the morning session with a presentation about two repair methods, uh, realkalization and chloride extraction and desalination. We'll then have a longer break for lunch, starting after that with three presentations about patch repair, recasting, and charcrete by Sfir Ribeiro, André Monteiro, and Ivica Zivanovic, respectively. After another, another short coffee break, we'll have two more excellent presentations before we close the webinar session. Jan Lack will speak about repair of pre-stress tendons through injection of grout, and Etsushi Kikuta will make a presentation about the technique of injections to seal cracks in concrete. Uh, as Edward Julie said, and I will remember again, during all the presentations, the audience is invited to put questions to the speakers using the Q&A button in the Zoom toolbar. Uh, 